Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for another Hads News Update. Because after their practice today, Dominique Ducharme and a few guys held a little press conference where our beloved man of the evening, John the Bomb Lou, went out and asked some questions, you know, because that's what Mr. Lou likes to do. He managed to pull out some information on our little magical ray of sunshine, Bob Byron, Shea Weber, Caden Primo, and more. So stick around, and let's get rid of that frown. Yeah. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or just hockey in general, please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload hockey content daily, and would really enjoy if you guys decided to tag along for the ride. Now let's start things off by talking a little bit about how their practice even happened today. You see, the boys, they were set to have the day off. However, Shea Weber himself, he came up to Dominique Ducharme this morning and said, I was talking to the guys and they said, instead of staying at the hotel, we want to go on the ice. Ducharme was happy with the players sacrificing their planned day off. So, you know, Ducharme and his gang, they set up a practice and Ducharme went on to say, every time the team has been able to practice before an important game, the pace, the execution and intensity has transferred into the game the next day. So, recognizing the importance of these three games at Calgary, the team decided work was more important than the rest. So yeah, good on the boys, they definitely could use the work because now is definitely the time to find some consistency in their game. They're gonna need to be consistent because I don't really trust these Flames and Canucks right now. Yeah, not to be trusted at all. And really, I mean, these guys have guidelines that they have to follow nowadays anyway, right? With all the COVID shenanigans that are on the go, I mean, what are they gonna do anyway? Just sit at the hotel with their fingers up their ass wondering what time South Park comes on? Yeah, no, get on the ice. Good idea. I like it. I really like it that they practice today. Now, as for Caden Primo, apparently, you know, they're kind of keeping everything hush-hush. Neither Primo or Ducharme during the interviews spilled the beans on when this guy is going to play in the net. Although Ducharme did say that he will be playing at some point. How insightful Ducharme. Man, I'm overwhelmed with information right now. Good old Ducharme, though. He did say that he has no updates on Carey Price's concussion, but he said he will know more in the next few days. So keep your fingers crossed, guys. Let's hope it doesn't last too long. Ducharme would also have some kind words to say about Paul Byron, because, you know, there may be a show called Everybody Loves Raymond, but apparently in that locker room, everybody loves Paul. He would say, quote, He's wearing an A on his jersey for a reason. Guys really respect how competitive he is. The kind of guy he is. He's a real pro. The kind of guy that if you need something on the bottom shelf, he's so small he could get it. I'm just kidding. The kind of guy that if you're in trouble on or off the ice... He's the kind of guy you want on your side. Going through waivers, it was not fair to Pa. It was about the cap situation, not the way he played. Now, according to John Liu, these insights imply respect and value unperceived by outsiders that explain why Mark Bergevin hasn't waived Byron to the taxi squad to make room for Caulfield. So yeah, take that little tidbit and go freaking crazy with it, guys, because I know you wanna. Now, speaking of Caulfield, Jonathan Liu would also have have this to say about the situation. Until the Habs can find a way to work Caulfield into the lineup, go ask Romanov if he thought not playing, but practicing, working out, and hanging with his future teammates in the Toronto bubble was a waste of his time. Caulfield still gains and learns from this pro experience. Yeah, so there's that, right? Also, from what I've been reading today, there hasn't been any updates that I've found with regards to Eric Gustafson. And you know, when this guy gets his crack into the lineup. Jeez, that sounded kind of bad. Okay, for the record there, I wasn't talking about the man's ass crack, but rather when he would crack the lineup. So come on, leave me alone. Now, there you go, guys. That's all the news that I managed to muster up today. It ain't much, but it's honest work, right? If anybody has anything they'd like to add, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and go Habs go!